For December 2013, this is CTA News and Review. The Chicago Transit Authority reported continued improvement in how venture readers work on CTA buses, following the completion of a fleet-wide software upgrade by Cubic Transportation Systems. The improvements on buses completed in early December have led to faster, more reliable boarding for CTA customers and nearly eliminated instances of card tap delays that led to transaction denial or a second charge from double tapping related to delays. This is following similar upgrades to all venture readers at CTA's 145 rail stations. Mayor Rahm Emanuel and CTA President Forrest Claypool announced a comprehensive improvement plan for the Chicago Transit Authority's Blue Line O'Hare branch, an overhaul that will provide faster travel times and updated stations while creating more than 1,300 good paying jobs. The $492 million plan, called Your New Blue, includes several track and station improvement projects along a 12 and a half mile stretch of the Blue Line O'Hare branch between the Grand and Cumberland stations, as well as upgrades to the signal system between the Jefferson Park and O'Hare stations. Among the four-year plan's highlights, extensive station renovations at the Grand, Chicago, Division, Damon, California, Logan Square, and Jefferson Park stations, concrete platform repairs and installation of a new elevator at the Addison station to make it ADA accessible, repairs at the Irving Park, Montrose, Harlem, and Cumberland stations, track improvements to eliminate and prevent slow zones in the Milwaukee subway and Dearborn subway respectively, track signal improvements between O'Hare and Jefferson Park, which will improve speed of travel, traction power upgrades to improve service and reliability, installation of new water management systems and repair to ensure dry and clean subway stations, special track improvements near the O'Hare station and in the Rosemont rail yard to help reduce delays and provide for more efficient operations, and an upgrade of wireless infrastructure in the subway tunnels to provide customers and workers with faster and more reliable voice, data, and web service in the subway. Current infrastructure was built in 2005 and is inadequate and outdated. In addition, the CTA has kicked off a search for artists to create public works of art for three of the Blue Line stations that will undergo rehabilitation during the project. The Chicago Transit Authority completed its first ever online auction in partnership with Rick Levin Associates Incorporated, providing transit fans with their very own piece of CTA history just in time for the holidays. Customers placed more than $34,000 of bids on 117 items. The auction generated 36,000 page views, including 61 out-of-state bidders from as far away as London, with a total of 1,737 total bids placed. Chicagoans and visitors of Chicago rang in the new year responsibly by catching a safe and convenient ride home with the CTA. For the second straight year, Miller Lite sponsored Penny Rides, which allowed CTA customers to ride CTA buses and trains between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. for free. Each year, an average of 150,000 CTA bus and train rides are taken on New Year's Eve. For all your breaking CTA news, go to transitchicago.com news and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.